Good morning, good morning. In roughly one hour from now, the new runecrafting minigame Guardians of the Rift is going to be released, which is super exciting. A more interesting way of training runecrafting for once is going to be released into the game, along with a minigame called Temple of the Eye, which requires 27 runecrafting to do, so that is all the requirements you actually need for this minigame. Now before we get into the quest and the minigame, I want to show this picture right here, all the rewards that's going to be in this minigame, and you can see on the right side it says pearls required, that's because the game is not out yet, they don't know how much it's going to cost yet, but we will know that in a bit. Now let's le have a look at some of the more interesting things here, the ring of the elements is a ring you can charge with elemental runes and one law rune, and teleport to the elemental altars, and elemental is of course the air, fire, water and earth. And there's some really nice locations for those, like uh, the water altar is in the swamp in Lumbridge. You can get a swamp teleport, which uh, Swampletics would love, I, I would assume. Um, but yeah, there's probably some nice locations for that. And then we have the Rainment of the Eye, which is the outfit, which gives 10% chance, 60% if all pieces are worn, to craft additional runes. This seems incredible. If you get high rune crafting level and you want to make wrath runes on an Iron Man, having a 60% chance to craft additional runes is ridiculously good. Now that's from the reward shop, but you can actually get rewards randomly when you complete a run as well, which is the Abyssal Pearls of course, which you buy the things from the store with. You have the Abyssal Needle, which combines all the runecrafting pouches into one colossal pouch. This requires 85 runecrafting and 56 crafting to use. That is incredible. That means you have one slot in your bag for all your pouches if you have 85 runecrafting. That's really strong. There it is, the update is now in and it is time to do the quest and it said that you also need a chisel for the minigame so this is the setup I'm bringing, I'm bringing a chisel, a stamina potion, the essence pouches that I have, the dragon pickaxe because you will be needing to mine some essence in there. Also by the way, rune light is not updated so I'm running with the really bad graphics but let's first talk to wizard Pernsten and do the quest. By the way, during this quest there is going to be a riddle where you have to basically solve a mathematical puzzle. It's very simple, but it could be a bit annoying. For me, the answer for the thing was 11. It might be different for everyone, but if you're doing this quest, try out 11. If it doesn't work, you will have to solve it yourself, but it probably will work. So we're now at the new minigame, but it's still during the quest, so we can't do it yet. But uh, yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, there's going to be, I believe, abyssal monsters attacking from up here. We are going to have to use these altars to like imbue different kind of runes and then charge a rift guardian in the middle to repel the monsters. But yeah, let's complete the quest and then try it out. There it is, that's the quest done for 5000 runecrafting experience and actually just from doing the minigame in the quest, the tutorial, you got like 4400 experience, so I'm really hyped about this, hopefully it's going to be great experience. Now before we get into the minigame and the experience rates I'll get with uh, only 58 runecrafting, I just wanna say one thing, this store is actually way bigger than I thought of. Back in the days when we needed nature talisman for a specific quest, we had to go to the abyss and kill monsters that had like a 1 in 50 drop rate of it or something, but here you can literally just buy every single talisman in the game. So if you're actually in really bad need of one of them for a specific quest or something, you can just go here and buy them. So I just crafted some cosmic runes inside of the minigame and when I leave I have 37 of these catalysts guardian stone and now I actually hand them into the guardian right here and I got 300 experience for just crafting these and when I power up with all of these 185 so it's not amazing but it is probably going to build up over time and I would assume that uh, after the game you also get a bunch of experience as I drop. It has been some time now and I have researched some about this minigame and I can now give you guys a decent way of doing this minigame. First, pick up these 10 cells and run all the way to the right side and this is before the minigame even starts because there is a large pile here you can mine from that gives more essence than anything else. The minigame starts and you should mine 300 roughly essence from this before doing anything else. That should give you enough for the entire game. Maybe you will overshoot slightly, maybe undershoot a bit, but uh, generally 300 is enough. When you do have your 300 essence, you go up again and as you see the minigame has already started, but that is fine. The minigame is pretty long, so it is no rush really to get done. 
and now go to the table over here and just make your essences fill your pouches with them and then go to whatever rune crafting altar you want to make the runes at and make them now when you have everything filled up these 10 uncharged cells that you picked up in the beginning is just going to serve as extra experience meanwhile doing this so now you just wait for an altar that you want to do and now i got nature up so i run to the nature altar and when I do craft the runes here, one of my cells is going to get charged and you can see that it is now a strong cell. I'm pretty sure it's either dependent on what type of rune you make or just random how strong it's going to be, medium, weak, strong, overpowered or whatever they're called. And when you go out, you first off power up the guardian with the uh, runes that you made. Get some rune crafting experience and then after that you have two choices you can either just uh, strengthen the barriers get like 190 rune crafting experience or if there is space for the 10 elementals you can make them into a dps minion that kills the abyssal creatures you basically just repeat this process all the way to the end of the game and that is when you get your bigger experience drop and all your points you can see now i just ran out of the essence i mined at the beginning and it's 98 percent on the mini game and yeah, everything basically worked itself out. So you start the minigame by mining a lot, then you just craft runes on repeat and turn the cells into either minions or strengthening the barriers. Another thing I've seen some people miss is that you can actually bank your runes right here. So whenever you craft runes, do not drop them. And after the game, do not go out and bank them here. It is unnecessary. All you have to do is just deposit runes, right click this one and you deposit everything you have. If you've done Tempros before, you know how the reward system works for this boss as well. You basically go out to the reward guardian here, and if you talk to him, you can check. It says, I have 13 catalytic points and 6 elemental points, which means I can loot 6 times. So you actually need one of each for each time you need to loot. So if you're going for rewards, you cannot only make the catalytic or the elemental runes. You need to make both of them. So let's see if I search this now. I also get probably some runecrafting experience, apparently I do not, but uh, the rewards are right here. I get runes and I get some talismans, overall good stuff, and you can get some rare items here as well of course. And I got an intricate pouch, honestly not sure what that is, but uh, oh it's just some runes, so it's probably a common item. Now when it comes to experience rates, I have been getting 30,000 runecrafting experience an hour, which is definitely not bad at only 59 runecrafting, and of course as you can make the higher tier runes, that's going to scale up even more. I think they said that this is going to be the second best runecrafting method in the game after lava runes, and lava runes of course is extremely click intensive, so I can see a lot of people doing this all the way to 99. Maybe blood runes is going to be pretty good at 77 the old way like it used to be, but until 77 this is definitely the way to go. But for now, I think that is enough information and overview of this minigame. It was a really fun and nice addition to the game. Unfortunately, there was like a 4 to 5 hour downtime where they screwed up some updates about this minigame and basically made untradeables tradable, which was uh, quite a bad thing. And uh, there was a rollback. They actually made us all redo the quest, which is not that bad. But uh, anyways, we made it in the end. And uh, it's a great addition to the game. I'm definitely going to be doing this in the near future on my group Iron Man. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see the future content. And until next time guys, take care.